we're going to write equivalent matrix equations and systems of equations. We're at 13.4c. We've got 10 previous videos that are linked in the description to help you if you need it. And we talked about this a little bit back in 13.4a. For future problems, we need to understand how to write a matrix equation that's equivalent to a system of equations. So this is fairly straightforward and simple. We have a system of equations right here. You can see there's four equations. I've tried to line the variables up so you could see that there's a missing space here, can't you? So the first thing we do is make a matrix that contains all the coefficients without the variables or the constants. The constants are after the equal sign. We use a zero as a placeholder for the missing terms. So this would be our equation. We've got a 4, a 2, and a negative 1. See? We've got a 9 and then a 0 for the y value and then a, z, a 1 for the z. We've got a 4, a 5, and a negative 2. We have a 1, a 1, and a 1. For the next matrix, we put x, y, z because those are the variables. And then in our last matrix here, we put what they equal. Now, if you watch the last couple of videos, you know if we multiply this 4 to this x, and this 2 to this y, and this negative 1 to this z, and then we do the 9 to the x, the 0 to the y, and the 1 to the z, and we slowly do each member, each element of a to b, we're going to get our original system of equations. See? Let's try it again. Now we've got another system of four equations, and we write a matrix without the variables in them. So we've got x, y, z, and a w. So now we've got four variables that are going to be in our second matrix. When you see them next to each other like this, that means to multiply them. They're going to equal these constant values in the last one. See? We multiply each element going like that. See? The first one to the first variable, the second one to the second variable, the third one to the third one, fourth one to the fourth one, then we go back to the first one to the x, second one to the y, and all we're doing is putting it back into this. See? It's turning these four equations, this system, into this matrix equation. So we end up with this equivalent matrix equation. It's equivalent to that system. See? If you're really confused, you can go back to 13.4a. When we first started talking about this, and maybe that'll help a little bit. Our next video is 13.4d, and we're going to talk about the different properties of matrices, commutative and all of that stuff. In fact, they're not commutative, but we'll discuss them. And the link to the 10 previous videos for Chapter 13 will be in this description. We only have six videos left to the end of this playlist and we're going to be done with Algebra 2. Keep up the good work. I'm proud of you. We're making it. We're almost done. I'll see you next video. Bye.